Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, Eagles. For whatever time zone you're currently flying in, this is your colleague, alumni Eagle, Otis Pate, class of 1985, swooping down to the nest, dropping off some more video episodes from Frankfurt, Germany. You know, I was thinking, if there's one thing that remains constant, that one thing would be change. Change, coincidentally, is something that I'm sure all military children are familiar with. Change has become an obsession to most of us because of our lifestyles for so many years as military brats. However, don't ever let change cause you to forget where you come from, for it is oftentimes very important to look back to understand your present and what reality you want to create for your future, for your future, for your future. <laughs> February 15th, 2013, 28 degrees Fahrenheit outside, and today we find ourselves emerging from the underpass that leads from the U-Bahn and from the former PX compound, walking up the stairs that most of us have walked up or down <laughs> thousands and thousands of times. Man. Not much has changed in this region, except for this sign down here, this Mikwa Adikas Ali sign. They've, they've added the Pulitzer Presidium word up there. And up here on the left is where that Trink Hall used to be that was here for over 40 years. And back here is former 21st Replacement Battalion and later Ambassador Arms. And straight up here, where we're getting ready to go, is where the high school is which was on the Abrams compound we were here in January doing the first episode for the alumni Eagles and I had showed you the police presidium up there on the left which used to house the Frankfurt PX and commissary sight and sound center and everything else Here is the underpass that we just emerged from. I just realized that I forgot my gloves and something to wipe my nose with. So today is going to be even more interesting than I had anticipated. If we get some weird stares, y'all, just remember that's probably because I'm holding this camera and I can't wipe my nose. But as we look back towards the PX and the Pulitzer Presidium compound, you see things haven't changed that much. And this bus number 32 still provides faithful service up and down this street. If you can recall, this is the street that leads to and from the main autobahn right behind the school here on Mikwa Adikas Ali and goes towards Hansa Ali. It's um, autobahn 66 and 66 is a major artery for this location still.
right up ahead where that person is walking is where the mess hall used to be and on the right of there was a turnstile with the MP and that entrance led to the compound to get to school or to the mess hall or wherever you were going right here is where the 21st replacement battalion was and many of you might know this area as extra rooms for the Ambassador Arms Hotel. This area is just recently demolished within the last two and a half years and I have no clue what they're getting ready to put there now. This is a shot back towards where we were standing which is the entrance to Audubon 66 or you know you can also go straight into the right to, to other destinations and right around in this area here is where the bowling alley was right up there by those buildings is the entrance to the compound for the high school Just another shot right here to the areas where we've come from and we're making our way up here to the entrance to the compound to go to the high school. These buildings were just erected within the last three years so they're real new. feels kind of strange walking through this entrance way without having to show my ID card. Up here on the left are the former barracks for the service members, the military members that were on this compound. And these barracks were right behind the bowling alley. Now there's only a parking lot here. This is a shot to the area where we were just standing right behind the bowling alley. And right up in front of us right here is where that turnstile used to be with the MP there with, that would check ID cards. That turnstile was right next to the mess hall which was right up in front of these cars but as you can see now this whole area is vacant and in the distance is the old high school this direction leads to the high school over there behind the fence is where the ambassador arms hotel was officers housing up there on the left I don't know why I feel like I'm running late for first period nevertheless here we stand right in front of the high school looking down towards the Audubon entrance and the street name has changed here now as far as I know and now it's called Sao Lystrasse or Sioli Strasse? I'm not familiar with that name. Maybe you can tell me what it says. Up on the right are college dorms where the Idle Hour Theater used to be. On the left, officers housing. There's at least two, but maybe three houses there. Well, Eagles, we finally find ourselves at the Frankfurt American High School compound. And right there on the right is one of the main side entrances that we used to use to access the school, if not the main one. Right next to that door on the right is the cafeteria. In the distance, the smoking patio. And back there behind the smoking patio is the dorms for the university, which is on the Idle Hour compound, former Idle Hour compound. The Idolauer Theater, y'all. You know, this is the movie theater that I first saw Rocky Balboa in, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Bruce Lee, 
and Star Wars the first part. Up here to the right used to be an area in the 80s that you could access the football field from and locker room. But now from what I understand it's just um, a gymnasium taking up the whole space there. Back here used to be where the Ambassador Arms was. That whole area. Now, I have to be honest, when I arrived here today and found this eight foot or so foot fence around the whole perimeter of the school, I was discouraged. Um, and as a result, all I can do is stand here and focus on the field from afar instead of getting right up on it. And I, wow, I really wanted to see that track because that track looks great. When I was there at the school, it was made of some type of black cinder. And back here in the background, you might think that this is the former dorm that was connected to the school, but it's not. That dorm has been torn down and this structure here is new. But the dorms used to house students uh, there for five days out of the week and they would go home on Saturday and Sunday, as well as the dorms had students that were there seven days a week and would only go home every three months because their parents worked at the embassies in Norway or in Moscow. Hey, let me show you a picture of the dorms, the former dorms from the side and the track and football field now. Those dorms over there are full. At least they look full from out here on the ground. The library was upstairs. And it's, it's quiet out here today because this school is under construction on the inside now. But I did try to get inside, guys. There's the mighty eagle on the right side of the building. And the front, since I was at the school in 1985, the front has been re-landscaped tremendously. There was a ROTC building out here too, if I recall, and parking areas. That pit in the middle with the tree wasn't there back in the mid-1980s. Nor was that seating area, the bench area over there. It's another view of the dorms from the right side or the left side if you were leaving the front of the school. Behind the dorms is more dorms and then that finally fades into the campus area for the students here at the university. This shot right here is to the left of the school or to the right if you were coming out of the school and that used to be the library back there. But as you see, there's a gate back there. So Eagles, I couldn't go back there. But I thought about it, believe me. I thought about jumping over that fence and going back there. But considering all the flack I've been getting so far, except for today about filming, I thought, well, I better keep my old butt on this side of the fence. Wow, that's the Audubon down there, y'all. And this over here, this view over here is of the former houses for the brass, the officers of the military. As a matter of fact, I know that a general lived across the street over there because his son used to be on the football team with us. 
this spot here is exactly where the Idlehour Theater once stood. And you can see the school back over there in the Europa term, ever present. <laughs> Good luck, Charm. So we're going to, let's just walk down here. We'll walk and, and I'll just show you the views. Again, this is where the Idlehour Theater used to be. The Idlehour Theater was pretty long. If you knew the theater, it was, um, oh wow, I would say at least 500 and something people capacity. So it was pretty long. And down here is where we would walk, at least in my day, to the annexes where we had um, other classrooms right up there. And about in this area, well, yeah, right over here in, in this area, this used to be a building that was for more extracurricular classes like small engines. And this is also where the housemeister for the high school's office was, uh, James Johnson, Mr. James Johnson, Smoky Trash. Catholic school over there. Hochschule. Well, we've moved on down the line and right now we're behind the dorms that you saw earlier where the idle hour once stood. I, see how far they come out? There's like four or five buildings of those things. And downstairs is where that Catholic uh, Hochschule uh, or Hochgemeinde was. Right here in front of us is a building that occupies this space that used to have the JAG offices there. And out front here where the grass is, is where uh, a very large parking lot was. Back over behind this great piece of artwork is where the annexes were for the Frankfurt American High School which is also uh, for night classes if I could remember correctly this building over here to the right is right behind the Abrams building it's a new building which uh, I believe connects to the Abrams That sign right over there says Grünberg Park, which is where bus 32 and bus 75 run. And it's right behind the park itself, which is right over here. And I was gonna go in the park, but it's far too big and it's too cold. And I would rather capture it in the springtime for everybody. So we'll be back over here. Right out here is the Autobahn which runs to the high school. This is Autobahn 66 the exit or the entrance to the area to where the school was which is right up on the right. This very famous bridge has been here at least for 45 years I know of for sure from checking but this bridge or should I say and this bridge connects to the Frankfurt Bundesbank, the Frankfurt Bundesbank uh, Park. The park uh, is one that many of us used to go to during lunchtime, or we had to walk through, coming from von Sturben housing area, Plotten housing area, Hugel housing area. To get to school, we walk to uh, through there or back through there. Right up there on the right is the Frankfurt American High School, and the field you can see right uh, from behind that sign. That's where we were a little while ago, looking at those, uh, well, the dorms, or should I say, the area where the dorms used to be. Highcog in the distance, the Highcog housing area right there. And this direction for the Audubon goes towards um, Wiesbaden Castle, Frankfurter Kreuz, which is a, a, the area where a, a, a lot of where cars, a lot of cars can make different connections. You would go that way to go towards Rhein-Main from this area, the Rhein-Main Air Base. 
You also could go that area over there to uh, get to the Europa term, which is just right here uh, on the left. But I want to focus on walking down this these little steps over here. These these uh, steps. I don't want to fall and, and break my butt or my camera. But check it out. Steel bridge. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna need some um, maintenance soon. Telecom term, Europa term. And welcome back to the Bundesbank, Eagles. We're going to come back here to the Bundesbank too um, in the springtime, uh, probably in the summer. Yeah, both times because this park looks far different during the seasons, whether it be winter or spring or just, you know, all out summer like in July. So we'll come back over here and check this area out. Lounge, you know, for a little while or something. This park is used by the people who work at the Bundesbank, of course, but uh, today, since it's so cold out, extremely cold, matter of fact, I can see that the water, is, yeah, it's frozen over there. Uh, since it's so cold, people are, are, you know, of course, staying inside. I think this guy right here is walking through the gate. There's a gate right up there uh, to get onto the compound. Well, one of the gates. There's one in the front, too, the main one where cars and stuff drive through. this uh, little pond is man-made this whole area is is man-made I'm it, I guess it looks like it if you know what these type of areas look like but they did such a good job I wondered myself what which was here first you know was the pond here first or you know uh, before the Bundesbank or or what because this they really did a great job the the German architects did a great job of this area making it look very natural and legitimate I know a lot of boyfriend girlfriend relationships were started over here in this park without a doubt and the bridge over here this little bridge has been annihilated by wannabe graffiti artist but I'm sure that the, they're gonna clean that up very soon that's a little back shot to where we were just standing looking at the uh, this is a pan shot to the right on the left side of the bridge though and you can see the ducks there standing on the ice. This bridge leads to Plottenhausen area, the front of the Bundesbank, and a soccer field that is over there right before you enter the housing area. The pond here normally has, well, in the springtime and summertime, it has a man-made geyser that shoots up in the air. Um, about five or six different streams. Another back shot to where we were standing. I just keep showing you the back shots, everybody, just so you can get your bearings correct if you've been to this park before. I could imagine there's been some Frankfurt Eagles that's never been into this park. 
you know, whose parents told them, don't you leave those school grounds until I come and pick you up after school until you get on that bus. That's another back shot. Frankfurt Bundesbank Park and right out there is where you'll see those man-made geysers in the springtime and or in the summer when we come back out here well Eagles I have to admit I'm far too cold to continue so why don't we just come in for a landing for now and you know finish this on another day Okay.